So they call you up and say, you know, you sit down with the team and they say, listen, we really want to go down this route. And, and then you have to go away and, and kind of finesse that. Yes. Or do you just, do you, every now and again, do you just go... Sometimes there might be a character who becomes very topical that week. I remember the first time this happened with Boris Johnson many years ago. He'd said something to offend the people of some city or whatever and say, ah, 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 ah. Uh, there we were having to uh, learn Boris Johnson very, very quickly. I think Theresa May has been an absolute genius to uh, call uh, an election. She has left all her opponents with their trousers down, which makes her a change for me. <laughs> ah. But... <laughs> 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 In terms of the election, is the election a yeah. good time for you or a bad time for you? Do, like, do you, have, do you have to sort of almost cut out the dead wood? You people you know that, you know, aren't going to be around that much anymore. Yeah, that there are, you know, characters that you have to say goodbye to. Who's the, who are you most sad to say goodbye to? Uh, you know, as a character, I quite miss Tony Blair. <laughs> but, you know, a great attack in his voice. And, you know, if you sort of, like, push that voice a little further, it's not long before you arrive at the Daleks! <laughs> <laughs> the Daleks and make the Daleks happy and you sort of arrive at Michael McIntyre in that very chirpy sort of way. <laughs> observing, observing, <laughs> observing, wobbling hair. <laughs> do you, do you ever use, I think you do this on the tour, don't you? There's a sort of malevolent, you're, you're, you're sort of playing with people, a bit malevolent, a bit naughty, well, a bit evil. In a uh, nice way. Yeah, well, so what do you do? You, do you call up a pizza company or something? We, we, we do, we make a call to a local pizza uh, delivery company in a voice chosen by the audience and we order some pizza. And uh, after a little bit of confusion, uh, the pizzas are delivered to the <laughs> stage and uh, the audience help themselves to a slice as they, as so they go home. who have you done that with? Uh, the character that people... Well, Tom Baker's Doctor Who is someone who uh, is asked for <laughs> uh, very, very frequently. Sometimes Alan Carr, sometimes people say yes, Alan Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, now... I, I'm, I do this in a very, very amateur way, just at dinner parties, with, with, on my own, pretty much. Um, so I do a little bit of Alan. Yeah, all right, OK. But, I, but I, I try, I'm trying to work on my Barlow, so can you help me with Gary? Gary Barlow? This is all I've got oh, so far. Okay. And I don't, re it's not, I don't really do words. I'm like, but Gary always goes, he always goes, oh, hey, Derm, oh, yeah. Oh, this is good stuff, this, yeah, you need to try this. Yeah, yeah do you know, I think that, that initial, initially you get the lovely warmth and relaxed oh, yeah. sense of him. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, with Gary, I think it's even slower than that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. That audition was fantastic. That performance had everything. That's going to change your life, but I've told you so slow, we've run out of time. <laughs> 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 but that's, you've got the making there. 